Continuing my review of the shit fest that I watched this weekend, we move on to um, Ski Patrol, which is actually a 90s movie, but still, it's not a great film. Uh, a little bit. Um, a little background on Ski Patrol. Ski Patrol was essentially made off of the backs of the Police Academy films. Uh, the, by 1990, the Police Academy films were riding high on just churning out sequels over and over and over again. And maybe someday I'll review those. Um, but it was made off the backs of that, made by the producers of the Police Academy films. And the concept is not dissimilar from the Police Academy films. Take a bunch of misfits, put them together. In this case, instead of putting them in cop uniforms, put them on a mountain make them the ski patrol, give them some evil land developer that's trying to jip an old man out of uh, his his ski resort lodge that he's been there for 40 years, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's it's, uh, it's uh, the guy from my favorite Martian, uh, Ray, uh, Ray Walston. And um, obviously, some people will probably rem remember him as Mr. Hand from... Um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Stupidity League. At any rate, um, as the film goes, it is basically a knockoff of the Police Academy formula, um, which is not surprising since it came from the producers of the Police Academy films. Uh, it does not, of course, replicate the success of the Police Academy films, and is probably considered a pretty crappy film. I don't actually see it as a crappy film. When I watched it in the 90s, I thought it was funny. When I watched it now, I thought it was funny. I don't see, because apparently they were attempting to build a franchise around off of this. I don't see that that was necessarily the case. I think as a standalone film, it's actually fairly funny. Um... The jokes are still fairly decent and still fairly funny. One of my favorite things is to look back and see currently a man who is better known for his directing, uh, Paul Feig is in the film. Paul actually is, um, if anybody wants to remember, is, is the director of uh, the latest Ghostbusters film that is currently out, the all-female rebooted version of of uh, Ghostbusters. Um, so it's fun to see kind of a Paul, uh, Paul Feig, a younger Paul Feig. Uh, maybe his best work. I'm not a big fan of Paul. I don't know. I don't really care for a lot of what he's done. Um, it's not that he's awful. I just don't give a shit either way. But Paul's at least pretty funny in this film. Maybe a little weird. Weirder than usual. But basically, uh, the film is is your standard fare. If you've seen a Police Academy movie, you know, obviously we've got a guy who's the lead. We've got you know, clearly a funny black guy, a few other characters that are in there, um, a short guy, uh, you know, a funny dog, a, a, an impossibly hot woman or two. Which I, I actually have to wonder. I mean, uh, Tess uh, Fulton, I guess her name is, F-O-L... T-Y-N, I guess that's, um, gorgeous woman, uh, I think she's, if I remember correctly, she's from, she's Polish descent, a little bit of thick accent, but not so thick that you, you don't understand her, unbelievably, like, impossibly gorgeous, really, you kind of wonder where she ended up, I did a search for her online, because I was curious myself, didn't really find anything <laughs> beyond Ski Patrol, there's a few other minor bits here and there. Some very old pictures of her with motorcycles and bikinis, but really has no online presence as of 2018, 2019. So, um, actually has a Facebook page, but hasn't used it since 2013, so. Um, but overall, I mean, I still find that the movie is, is a fun watch to pull out every occasion and, and watch occasionally. Uh, I would actually buy this one on DVD, mainly because it is one of those films where 
I, I had a good time watching it. I don't think I would want more if they had ever made more, but it, it was at least still a, a fun film that was an easy way to kill like an hour and a half, almost two hours, whatever the run time of it is. Um, one of the other things I would note about the film, which I thought was fairly funny when I watched it originally, and still kind of funny to a degree, maybe not as funny, one of the characters is this random character who apparently has multiple personality disorder, I guess, because, you know, making fun of the mentally ill is always fun. Um, at least it was acceptable in the 80s and 90s, I don't know. But at any rate, uh, he, he is kind of an out there character. He has his own band. The band is basically himself and two dummies with masks on. And he constantly keeps shifting back and forth between the personalities of himself and these other two dummies. Uh, at points in times, he has he's on the slopes and he has the two masks on the sides of his face. So he will hold the conversations of like, "Well, this is a lot of fun," and then the like scaredy cat voice, "It wasn't so fun. I don't think so. I think I peed my pants." And then he'll flip back and go, "Shut up, you're a big fucking pussy," which I thought was pretty funny. I, I mean, maybe making fun of mental illness isn't as funny as you imagine, but it, to me, I, it made me laugh. I thought it came off as being pretty good. Uh, it maybe is a little over the top and a little... They beat it into the ground a little bit. Like, he pulls out puppets and look like the other mask, which is a little stupid. And the, um, you know, the threat of any any threat is in there of, of danger is really kind of just downplayed because it's, it's just silly comedy. But I actually do enjoy Ski Patrol, so if you get a chance to watch it, it's on Tubi currently. I don't know if it'll be on there by the time you see or read this review. Read. Read. I'm talking to a fucking camera and I'm telling you reading a review. Stupidity leak. At any rate, um, I enjoyed Ski Patrol, so uh, I'll probably watch some more shitty movies this weekend. I don't know. I'm on my last day, and it's almost halfway through. Maybe not. But at any rate, that's three reviews in one day for you. So, cheese remote.